Hello and welcome to the Editor's Keys YouTube channel. I'm Mark Brown and today I'll be reviewing the new Windows 7 phone, the HTC Titan. The Titan is a mammoth of a device and the flagship phone for HTC and really shows off what Windows Phone can really do. But first of all, let's take a look at those specs. The HTC Titan is a display monster, killing every other phone in its path. At 4.7 inches, the phone is not just the biggest HTC phone, it's also the largest Windows Phone too. Its Super LCD screen looks great and it also features an 8 megapixel camera and 720p HD video recording. Some things I love about the phone is its new People Hub. This brings in all of your contacts from your Mac or PC, as well as Facebook, which is great when you want to stay in touch with friends or loved ones. Next up is Outlook, which is the phone's email client. It works very well at bringing in your various online accounts, and as you can see, the user interface is very minimalistic, maybe a little too minimalistic for some. Outlook has no problem rendering messages and can also display messages with rich content such as pictures or videos. Replying is easy thanks to the massive on-screen keyboard which works very well thanks to the new Windows update. Autocorrect works extremely well and you can easily attach images or videos using the little paperclip icon at the bottom of the keyboard. Xbox Live is where you will find your game center and online gamers avatar. For example, you can see my one here along with my Xbox points. You can buy games direct from this app and they all seem to work really well. The huge screen size is great for games like Need for Speed which can be seen here. Ok, so let's say you're done with gaming and want to get back to some other apps. Multitasking works very similar to WebOS's card view. All you do is hold down the back button and you can switch directly between running apps. Internet Explorer is of course the browser of choice on a Windows phone and for the best part works amazingly well. For some reason they've chosen to put the URL bar at the bottom of the screen. I'm really not sure what the logic is behind this but I would much rather see it at the top like every other browser. As you can see, web pages open fast and render well. This is the editorskeys.com website and as you can see we've got lots of images which seem to load really well. We found a few problems playing HTML5 videos from sites like Vimeo, but animations and other videos seem to work fine. Next up is one of my favourite built-in apps, the Pictures app. It looks great and uses a random picture as the main pictures wallpaper, which is always nice to see when looking through your memories. The phone easily syncs with the Mac or PC and lays out your photo albums in a real neat layout. Here you can see some pictures I took in my home city of Norwich which all load really fast. Pinch to zoom works smoothly and it's simple to then share your images with friends via email. Another thing you'll love is the way it integrates with Facebook. You can view all your Facebook albums direct on your phone without having to log into the website. You can even tag friends directly from your pictures folder. As you can see, I'm tagging my friend Stu from a picture when we went to watch the LA Lakers play. If Stu then comments on the picture, I'll be able to view the comment and reply direct in my pictures application. Now here's something all you business users are going to really love. Microsoft give a free copy of Microsoft Office for Windows Phone free with every phone. It gives basic editing functions to Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel and Microsoft PowerPoint. You can either email your documents or upload them to the Microsoft SkyDrive. Now we've all used Google Maps but with the HTC Titan you get something called Local Scout. Imagine you're in a new city and you're not sure where to eat, drink or if there's something you can do. Well, based on your location this app does exactly that. What's great is that it not only brings up direction but also brings up reviews and linked applications to make the choice much easier than ever before. So one of the new features in the Windows 7 phone is its ability to do voice search. Now obviously this is a big thing at the moment with Apple coming out with Siri and the Windows version actually works quite well. Now it doesn't really understand what you say but the voice capabilities themselves work quite well. Krispy Kreme in Manchester. There we go, I just found the store locator there for Krispy Kreme. So overall quite a good search capability.
Next up is the Zune Music Hub. This is where you can purchase or listen to your own music collection. The Zune player looks really nice and displays album artwork to make it easier to find your favourite tracks. It looks great. Similar to the iTunes store, you can search, preview and buy new music tracks or albums, but unlike Apple however, Microsoft also offers an unlimited music download service. The HTC Titan comes equipped with a huge 8 megapixel camera, alongside a selection of settings and photographic options to play around with. Picture quality is fantastic and the camera works really fast. You really could leave your point and click at home. So what do I think of the HTC Titan? Well, it certainly lives up to its name. It's absolutely massive, but massive in a good way. When I first got the phone and got it out of the box, I was a little bit worried that it was a little bit too big. But when you start using it for browsing the web, watching videos, editing documents, you really start to appreciate just how good the screen really is. And when you go back to something like an iPhone 4, you start to realize how cramped that screen looks. And it's really strange because when I first got the iPhone, I thought even that looked quite big. I think Windows have done a really good job on Windows Phone 7.5, and I was quite surprised by actually how much I like the operating system. Um, I had some old Windows 6.5 phones in the past and they were terrible, but this is really good. I really like the tiles view. I like how it sort of flips and displays live information. I like what HTC have done with integrating some of their own apps such as the HTC Watch and the apps just work really fast, they work really well. Multitasking is good as well and I think they've borrowed that a little bit from the WebOS cards kind of layout but it works really well in this. The only thing I'm not too keen on is the application list view. Basically when you've got say 50 or 60 applications it's going to be just a huge gigantic list. Now of course you can search directly for an app, but I would like to see some kind of grouping or folder system in future updates. If you want to check out the phone, check out handtech.co.uk. They were the guys who kindly sent us this review copy, so make sure you check out their website. I've been Mark Brown and I hope you've enjoyed this review. Don't forget to subscribe below and I'll see you again soon on another video.